an 8-year-old boy from Guatemala died in government custody in New Mexico early Tuesday, U.S. immigration authorities said, marking the second death of a migrant child in detention this month. The death came during an ongoing dispute over border security and with a partial government shutdown underway over President Donald Trump's request for border wall funding. U.S. Customs and Border Protection CBP, said the boy, identified by the Guatemalan consul in Phoenix as Felipe Gomez Alonso, had shown signs of potential illness on Monday and was taken with his father to a hospital in Alamogordo, New Mexico. He was diagnosed with a cold and a fever prescribed amoxicillin and ibuprofen, and released Monday afternoon after being held 90 minutes for observation, the agency said. The boy was returned to the hospital Monday evening with nausea and vomiting and died there just after midnight, CBP said. CBP has not yet confirmed when or where the father and son entered the United States or how long they were detained, saying only in its statement that the boy had been previously apprehended by its agents.